your first kind of true college road game? You know, it was, it was different, you know, it was a different atmosphere, you know, way different from here. So, you know, it was pretty good. And, you know, for the most part, I think we did, you know, we did pretty well, pretty well. You know, we know we lost and stuff. We let it go, you know, at the end. But, you know, most of the game, I think we did, took some huge steps in, you know, our defensive aspect. And, um, you know, we got to flow more on offense and, you know, we'll be good. What is it going to take to flow more on offense? Nothing, just really just repetition, you know, just practice and stuff. So, you know, we've been practicing, you know, doing different things, you know, spacing the floor. That was really the main part, just spacing the floor. So, we've been working on that more these last couple practices, and we should be fine. Were there noticeable, or what were the noticeable challenges about being in that road environment? Uh, well, you know, for the main part, I don't think it was really, you know, that that difficult. You know, I think what, we, what really hurt us is, um, you know, as we got towards the end of the game, we just didn't, you know, keep our foot on the pedal. We kind of let up a little bit, you know, with their atmosphere. You know, they just fed off the crowd. You know, they came back and you know, they got the win. So I think we really just got to keep focusing on, you know, just keeping the pressure on people and not letting them come back. How impressed have you been with Tom's ability to shoot the three for a big man? Man, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely great. You know, I think he's, you know, he's developed that over the past couple, you know, last couple of years and um, for him to actually put that in his game, you know, that's, that's pretty good. You know, the mid range is always a knockdown, but for him to get out there and shoot the three, it's great. How is uh, shooting at the college level different from the high school level? Is it just different size that you're going against in terms of the closeout hand or, you know, can you to kind of take us through that? Yeah, it is definitely, you know, the defense is, is way better than in high school. You know, it's not it's not as easy. Of course, the three point line's a little, a little farther back, but you no, know, really, I think at this level, it's just repetition, just getting up a lot of shots. How have you been working on uh, getting your free throws a little bit better? Uh, Coach Alford said it was like a mental game. Yeah, that's really that's really the main thing. You know, as, as far as when I'm in practice and stuff and I'm shooting by myself with a team, you know, it's like, you know, it gets it's easy. But, you know, once you get around other players and stuff like that, you know, I think it's just like a mental thing and it just, it just happens. Do you remember what your free throw percentage was in high school? Senior year, I think it went down. I think... Uh, before that, all the other years, I was pretty good. But that senior year came, it just start, I just started thinking about my shot more. My coach kind of changed it a little bit. And, you know, I've been trying to get get back to what it was before since then. Is there a way you can replicate uh, some sort of pressure, some sort of atmosphere when you're in practice to shoot those free throws? Or just... uh, I mean, really, uh, not really, because, you know, it's not, it's not a lot of, you know, the crowd and stuff isn't here. You know, really, I just got to learn to stay focused and just you know keep going through you know sometimes I think about it and you know I stop a little bit or hesitate on the free throws and just or overshoot it but you know I just gotta gotta work on it. Coach Alford is obviously one of the best free throw shooters in NCAA yeah. history what does he tell you about shooting this? Man he really just says it's all focus you know I like you know we play all of our songs and stuff you know during practice so he said you know just get that in your head and you know just take your time and knock a shot down. How much? How often does he bring up the Indiana thing? Like, it, oh, I you, hear you can't every, shame the you can't shame the state, right? <laughs> every day, man. <laughs> but you know, he's he's a cool guy. I like it though. What does he say when he does it? No, nah, he just you know he always talks about my my tattoos. Talk yeah. about you know I'm I'm on this side of the 465, and he goes all <laughs> around and just you know just look goofy stuff. But you know it's pretty cool. Um, coach said that there could be some resolution by the end of this week. I think it's already uh, Thursday. Yeah. So to the suspensions, you guys may know by the end of the week whether these guys are going to be back or not. Just to have that resolution, it sounds like it's coming soon. What, what does that mean to you guys to know whether they'll be back or not? I mean, if they, if they come back, you know, that would, that would definitely be great. You know, I know we've been kind of low on some of our bigs and uh, some of our, you know, Chris Smith has to move a little bit more to the floor a little bit. And so with them coming back, you know, I think that would really help us out a lot. And, you know, when people get tired, you know, they can be there. Is it especially difficult because those guys were part of your freshman class? Yeah. You talked a lot about how united and um, together that freshman class was, and now half of half of your guys are gone. Definitely, because you know we had a lot of team chemistry, but uh, you know a lot of stuff happens, and uh, you know, I just wish the best for them. I hope they come back, and you know I can't wait. Thanks.